love an update. I do. Not only when you post a Schoology update, does it show up on the home page when you're in Schoology, but you can turn updates into announcement. And I'll show you that in just a second. But we are really encouraging our teachers, instead of everybody using a different communication tool, we have pushed, we're going to use Schoology to let people know what's going on. With students who were there two days and then gone for two weeks, it helps the parents and it helps the teacher know where the, you know, where, know where the information is so it's not constant back and forth, do this, do that. We post an update. Um, I often use my updates also as announcements. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Some teachers have the same announcement up the whole year because they use it as a go-to for links and information. Some change every week, personal preference. Um, the Bitmoji became huge this summer. So some of my teachers have the Bitmoji classroom as their update announcement and have hyperlinks in it. Some, there, it's been a lot over social media. I know Facebook groups, I think teachers pay teachers. I've seen a lot are using Google Docs and make, making buttons that are hyperlinks and they use that. But I'm going to pause on the presentation and show you what I'm talking about. So this is actually my practice course, but if I go to do an update, whatever I type, I can make this an announcement. And what it does is it then places at the top of my course forever. Updates just show, show up right here. But if I post, this is my example, when my students come to the course, it's there, it's living there. So I could do those weekly, I could do the Bitmoji, I could do whatever. Now, one of my second grade teachers, this is actually her announcement that lives at the top of her course for the entire year. She may change some of the buttons out and it's hyperlinked. She did this on a Google Doc. Once you do it in the Google Doc, you can actually highlight, copy, and paste into an update. I would suggest, um, and I have this listed at the end of the presentation, but go to YouTube and Google. Um, adding images to updates, using Google Docs with updates, tons of YouTube videos. And I have some names at the end of the presentation that will actually help you um, know how to do it and who you can go look for specifically instead of doing a random. But like this one, what I did just to show you, I did hyperlink it. So Nearpod is something we use all the time. So I hyperlinked that update, it is possible. But this lives, forever and ever. I have another kindergarten teacher who had, uses a Bitmoji classroom and she has the same Bitmoji classroom. She might change the decorations depending on the season, but it's the same hyperlinks. So like it has a bookcase and it has the Epic books there and those kids can go and click on it. Um, I'm not the most creative, but my teachers are doing some really, really creative things. But this is what an announcement looks like. It lives up here. And it also will show up there. Um, it's kind of whatever you can come up with, you can do in Schoology with those updates. And there was just another example. That was my Bitmoji that I just showed. And it, it used to live at the top of my course. And then I recently changed it. Um, it's just a fun way to do it. And with your littles, it helps having graphics to show them where to go.